Hey, what's up guys? Alex here with a new video, and I've been wanting to make this video since I got this lens. Today, we're talking about the brand new Sigma 50 millimeter F1.2 for Leica L mount. They also make this lens for Sony E mount, but I will be reviewing the L mount version. And if you can see here in the background, I also happened to pick up an SL3 about two weeks ago. As a matter of fact, that's where this story starts. I picked up my SL3 two weeks ago and Sigma happened to reach out to me and asked me if I was interested in reviewing one of the first samples of their new 50 millimeter 1.2. If you're familiar with the channel, 50 millimeter is my favorite focal length and I love shooting wide open. So I jumped on the opportunity. The first thing that came to my mind was, is this gonna be an autofocus Noctilux? And without spoiling the review, it sure is. So let's get right into it. Looking at this lens, y'all, this is a Sigma lens. It's made out of metal, it's hefty, it feels great in the hand, has an aperture ring, autofocus, manual focus switch. You can de-click the aperture, and overall, it is a Sigma lens. The one thing you're gonna see that's a little surprising is, this lens isn't bigger than the 1.4 50 millimeter Sigma makes. That's because this is Sigma's lightest, actually, this is the lightest 50 millimeter F1.2 lens in the market. And this lens is actually a millimeter shorter than the 50 millimeter F1.4. Now it is about three millimeters girthier, so it is a little bit girthier, but they also share a 72 millimeter filter thread. And did I mention, this is the lightest 50 millimeter F1.2. That is awesome because for the longest time, buying a Sigma lens meant you were getting great image quality. You were saving money because the lenses are cheaper than the competition, the Sony G Masters, Canon L lenses, or any kind of professional tier lens, but you were sacrificing size and weight. But for the first time ever, you're getting the incredible optical design, the cheaper lens, and a lighter lens. That is just awesome, and I'm really glad Sigma did it. They also did a first with this lens and included 13 aperture blades. And you're gonna see in some of the samples I'm gonna show you here in a second, the bokeh is just buttery smooth. But how does this lens perform? Well, let me tell you, I'm in love with this lens. This is a review copy that Sigma sent. I have to send it back. But the minute I do, I'm placing an order because this lens paired with a brand new Leica SL3 is just pure magic. Shooting this lens at 1.2, the results are stunning. Sharp, wide open, creamy bokeh. It's fast to use. The autofocus works great with a new Leica SL3, and I was just beyond impressed. I did a family session with this lens, and with a family session, you have kids moving around, you have fast movement, and it performed great. I also did some street photography, and it also performed great. It performed great in low light, and anything I threw at it, this lens paired with the SL3 was a match made in heaven. Like I do with all my videos, I'm gonna be providing some image samples for you to download so you can play with them yourself. But I'm telling you, if you are an L mount shooter, you shouldn't look at any other 50 millimeter on the market. This 1.2 lens is a must buy. I have no cons. Because usually when I do Sigma reviews, uh, I'm impressed by the optical quality. But I always say, hey, this is a bigger lens, it's heavier, and that's a sacrifice you make. In this situation, you're not really making a sacrifice. As a matter of fact, I also have the Leica 50 millimeter F2 Apo, and let me actually show you, both lenses are actually the same length. Now the Sigma is girthier, obviously a 1.2 lens versus an F2, but you're not really sacrificing in size. So even comparing to the Leica glass, the fact that it's the same length, I mean, and you get an F1.2 aperture, that is pretty awesome. Now, if you're curious to see how they perform head to head, I will be doing that video. Stay tuned to the channel. But to bring things home, like I mentioned, I think this is the one lens, if you're an L mount shooter, that is a must buy. If you're an E mount shooter, I love that this lens exists because now you have competition with Sony. The Sony lens is an incredible lens. I used to own it and I think it's one of the best 50 millimeters ever made. But this lens, is gonna retail for $1,399 when it launches and the Sony lens retails for $2,000, which means $600 less. Optically, I didn't compare them head to head, but let me tell you, I just wasn't disappointed by anything I saw. I was really impressed. 
And this lens is actually about 30 grams lighter than the Sony. I mean, you gotta love it when the competition heats up and when you get lenses like this. Like I mentioned, I'm giddy, I'm excited, I'm so happy this lens exists, and I actually wanna see Sigma continue to do this. I would love to see an 85 1.2, and maybe even revisit the 35 1.2 and make it smaller because that lens is huge. As a matter of fact, I think this lens is 35% smaller than the 35 1.2. Anyways, check out the samples I'm including because you're gonna see how magical this lens is, and if you're in the market for it, don't overlook this lens. I think it's a must buy. But you saw my images. Hopefully you're downloading them. Let me know what you think down below in the comments and if you're planning on picking up this lens. And yes, I am gonna be making a video on the SL3 next, so stay tuned for that. And as always, guys, please give this video a like, please hit the subscribe button, and I will see you on the next one. Have a good one, guys. Peace.